Hi. The sing mode is probably where you're going to spend most of your time in Carry a Tune. Click the sing button from the home screen and it takes you to the singing screen. As you can see here, we've got an upper toolbar, we have a lower toolbar, and then we have the singing window. The singing window has these horizontal lines on them called pitch bars. Clicking on them will cause them to sound. The vertical lines indicate the breaks of the measures. The measures are numbered, one, two, three, and so on. Within each measure, the beats are numbered. In this case, there's four beats to a measure. The green line at the top of the singing window is the top of my vocal range, and the green line at the bottom is the bottom of my vocal range. The yellow line is the cursor, tells you where I am in the song. Let's look at the lower toolbar. We've got a metronome you can turn on and off. Time signature is indicated, in this case, 4-4. Four, four. Tempo can be changed. You can move it up or down. The key button allows you to move a song up that's too low, and vice versa. Melody can be turned on and off. Accompaniment can be turned on and off. Accompaniment only comes on the songs with Carry a Tune, not the exercises. We have volume controls. We have then the transport controls, rewind, play, stop, and record. Now I'm going to draw your attention up to the upper toolbar. We're going to pull down the singing selection box. Inside this box, you've got six tabs. This is where all the singing selections, exercises, songs are. Unisons is the first one. I'm going to pull up a unison. This is simply a fancy way of saying one pitch. We're going to sing one pitch for two measures. I'm going to go ahead and hit record. See how it works. Got a pretty good score. I'm going to go ahead and save that. <clears throat> Open up the singing selection box. By the way, that white line there we call the pitch tracking line. It shows you basically that you're singing more or less on pitch here within the blue band. Okay, I'm going to open up. By the way, intervals are just uh, two pitch exercises. We've also got some warm ups, uh, scales, major scales, vocalizations. All right, then we go to the cat songs. This is the songs that come with Carry a Tune. I'll pull up America the Beautiful. You see the lyrics are displayed right underneath these blue boxes, we call these target pitch bars. The gray uh, boxes within the blue boxes are what we call transition time. And you're not scored during transition time. It gives you time to change pitch from one uh, note to the next. <clears throat> R stands for rest. I'm going to turn off the metronome because I usually don't like to hear the metronome during a song. I'm going to hit record, just sing the first few measures here. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain. I'll hit stop. You can see I was a little flat here on this note, but the rest of them I got pretty good. If I continued all the way through, I would have gotten a score. I'm going to hit rewind and then clear. Now, one of the really nice features of Carry a Tune is you can take, this is a graphic view. It's sort of an XY graph. You can also, by clicking on this treble clef up here in the very top toolbar, you can get standard sheet notation, music notation. As you can see, the notes uh, are on a treble clef staff. I'm going to hit record so you can see. <coughs> oh, beautiful. So. As you can see, the pitch tracking line is available in this view as well. You can flip back and actually analyze your uh, pitch line a little more closely if you wish. There are uh, several other important buttons on this uh, screen. If you look up here, the vocal range. Uh, let's say you're doing a song and uh, maybe uh, someone else wants to sing the same song in your house, say your daughter, for example, and her vocal range is uh, different than yours. Of course, we're going to have to clear the song, clear my pitch tracking line, and let's say she's an alto. I just click alto. The song's been moved up into the alto range now. So that's a very nice feature as well. I can always go back to my vocal range if I want to. One other button I'm going to show you is the uh, Cat Explorer. Cat Explorer is another way of getting to the songs 
and selecting songs, as you can see right here, we've got my username and uh, the cat songs folder, cat exercises, my music and download songs. In cat exercises, unisons, if you remember, I did a tonic exercise and here are my actual saved exercises. I'll pull up one of the hundreds and you can see now that if I wanted to, I could play this or simply choose to clear it and redo it. Uh, one more important feature I'm going to show you is that uh, my music is empty right now. That's where the songs that you uh, create in compose mode, you can go to the compose mode demo and see how that works. This is where those songs would be kept and then the downloads tab is empty now also. But this is where any song that you get from the Karyatune online song library would be put. So in sum, the singing window is the spot where you're probably going to spend most of your time singing in Karyatune. And uh, I encourage you to spend some time with it because there's lots of features. It's very rich, very, very powerful screen. Enjoy!